What's up guys, how's it going? Matt here with Hydra Entertainment and today we're going to have week 18, our last game of the season against the 49ers. And like I said, last week we blew out the Giants pretty badly. So we'll hope, we'll see if the San Francisco puts up any bit of a fight. But uh, yeah, that's really all I can, I can say. So let's just uh, get into it. It's week 18 of the National Football League, and all eyes are on Cooper Cup. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Rams and the Niners, and it's coming up next. We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season. And we've got a compelling one in store here. As it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And yes, it's January 7th, but we haven't seen you since New Year's Eve. So we have to say Happy New Year, one and all. And partner, Happy New Year. The Rams offense ready. They're backed up to start their initial drive. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throw right side, taken in by Pettis. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Running. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Intended target was Cam Akers, but it'll be second down. You look at this Niner defense, and they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. Yeah, this has been a good defense, but they're going to have to really... He's got a man complete! And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On play action, they'll throw. He'll get this one to come complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ten more there and another first down. We'll give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. If he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Here's a second and five. They'll look to throw. Oh. And he's got it. That's cup for a Ram touchdown. A great effort there. With touchdown number 27, that ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Rams go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What? Oh, they got their the quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He was able to find Cooper Cup for the touchdown on their previous drive. See what they can do here. First and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Acres complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there of 22. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got him the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They'll drop to throw. 
That'll be caught. It's caught. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. Oh. And they're going to get him. He sank back around the 28. Javon Hargrave able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Third and 12. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's oh. defense is strong in coverage. Oh, that was a really Taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Second and six. That's out to the flat for Akers. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? That was well defended. It was a completion. It resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire... It got his man complete! And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking to complete it to Patterson. He's got him. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And they're off the bar too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three to his left. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his left. Mm. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just there, there's That's good for ball. 28 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ooh. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Touchdown, Rams. Cooper Cup with career touchdown number 75. And the Rams had six to their lead. Out 
as their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He already with a couple of touchdowns. Got ready Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up in complete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Got it. He's taken down but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, He fakes a spike. Oh, it's not going to work. He'll go down. And they got him. Him. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Looking to throw. Throw left side taken in by Jefferson. What do you do 22 yards it? there. A first down. And now at this point in the first half, you got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And well, this is taken <laughs> and it's complete. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Cam Akers, 45 yards. And the Rams are able to Damn. widen their advantage. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's been sensational so far. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So, hey, we get it. The first half is over. The Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working well and most importantly partner and yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead they come back out with that lead absolutely NFL coaches we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways but they had to like what they saw in that first half second and two he's gonna loft one deep left side here and he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you... Oh, a first oh, mistake no. for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. No. Picked off by Fred Warner. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. That is just what this... He threw the interception on the previous drive, but that only led to three points. Defense held him to a field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. He'll look to throw. Out well to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Out of 
the gun now on third down. Well, they would have got the conversion. Why are you dropping it, man? The top means it'll be fourth down. You're tight end. And that's a very good job there defensively. They went into this possession. No. Man. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Back to throw here. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. Oh, here's 33. <laughs> He'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Come on. Hold on. That's going to wind up incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Short throw, it's Higby. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. First down, Los Angeles. They'll set up to throw to the right side and complete to Jefferson. Touchdown! Van Jefferson with touchdown number 12 on the year. And there he The Rams ready to go on offense. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll set up a throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Cam Akers with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Zoop. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? But a lot of offenses say, touch. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Two best. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second and two at the 43-yard line. From the 43, here's second and two. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. 
No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? And he'll go down at the 28. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards at a first. And the Rams first down. On play action, they'll throw. On the move to his left. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Touchdown, Browns! Van Jefferson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Yet another time. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. to throw now on first down and this nearly an interception but it's incomplete well a turnover really would have helped him there but not to be yes sir how about an out of boy there on first down got his hand in and knocked it away an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 back to throw Whoa. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That's Drake Jackson burying him and finishing the play. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offense... He's got a man complete. And still fighting. We're following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Boy, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here, and we'll step aside. Being chased out left to oh, the goal line, but it's incomplete. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there's a 49er who's in some discomfort. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third. Touchdown! Yeah. Cam Akers from 19 yards away. And the Rams tack on another score as they have dominated this. And the Rams getting set to go now. Two first down. Let's do that. On the give, this is Akers. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Javon Kinlaw, the big D tackle there to bring him down. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion.
From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. It's a game of seven. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Yay. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Akers is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this oh, is caught. Good. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Ben Mason from three yards out as his guys have opened up a over. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Look at this, they're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're gonna need those three points, but they'll... But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Um, as you can see here, looks like Buffalo did lose their first round bye. That's cool. Um, number seven was Washington, but they dropped, and Philadelphia took their spot. So that's that's cool, I guess. Jets actually made it to the playoffs. Well, that's, that's neat. Chiefs, of course, they made it. I don't want to play the Chiefs. Chiefs, they're overrated. All about the Chiefs. Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Yeah, whatever. I don't, Chiefs are crap. Anywho. That's so it for this week. Next week, we get the uh, we got our first round bye, and then we'll jump right into our divisional game. Mm, I want to say we're gonna be playing. I say we're playing the Cowboys because uh, the Eagles just barely scraped by. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna take Dallas. I really don't. But we'll see. I I'd love either team. So. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and always remember to hell Hydra.